We just made this hanging plant stand with interchangeable pieces. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. If you like to do it, build it or make it, so do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're revisiting an old friend. Yes, a couple of years ago, we did a hanging flower basket stand. We've practiced that a couple of times. <laughs> and this time, we're gonna remake that same project, but we've revamped it a little bit. We have redesigned it, so it's using a little less wood, giving the price of wood these days, although, I did see it's coming down a little bit. And we're going to make the center section, the welcome piece of it, interchangeable. So we've got a few interchangeable accents that we want to try out and show you guys what it looks like and see what you think. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed one two by four. That's one. That's Just at eight one feet. Single. Uh -huh. Last time we used two. We needed one two by six. We really only need like 28 inches of it. We needed one one by eight, six feet. We're gonna use every ounce of this board. We needed some one and a quarter inch brads, some glue, some pocket hole screws, and a hook to hang our flowers on. Yep. And is that it? I think that's it. Oh. See, it's easy. Paint stain. That is it. Step two. We're gonna make all of our cuts. We're gonna start with the two by four. We're gonna cut two of these down to 36 inches. And then we'll start cutting everything else up too. I think we should make all of these cuts with my pal, pocket saw. <laughs> you will make it through the two by six and the one by eight. Just make sure you're at zero. We'll also need one 21 inch two by four for the middle brace, one 28 inch two by six for the bottom, one 28 inch one by eight for the top, two 11 inch one by eight for the feet, and one 21 inch one by eight for the sign backer. To get through the two by six and the one by eight, I'm gonna flip the board after I make the first cut line up my saw blade to make the second cut. It doesn't need to be perfect. I don't think anybody will be getting that close. We're gonna add pocket holes to both ends of the center brace and just the bottoms of the two sides, the legs. Step three. Now we paint and stain, or stain and paint. Yeah. We're gonna stain it briar smoke and then give it a dry brush of some white. And this is just getting painted black. This is the signboard piece. Yes, so we wanna give it that distressed look. So the last one we painted a pretty teal color, but to be honest, I could only use it in the summertime. It didn't really go all year round. So. Definitely didn't work in the winter. So this time I'm doing it a little more neutral in color and I'm gonna stain it with this briar smoke, put that white distressed dry brush finish on it, and then it should be able to use it all year round. I think so. And then we'll change out the welcome piece of it for each season. Oh yeah. Yeah. Very festive. I'm gonna go ahead and stain this before I assemble it because I think it's just gonna make it a little bit easier to stain it and dry brush it rather than having it stand up on this table. And sometimes with the stain, it's hard to get in those nooks and crannies. Yeah. And with the dry brush, yeah. it's hard to make it look consistent down in those corners. Yes. So we're gonna do it all disassembled and then assemble it. Disassemble. No disassemble. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny Five's alive. <laughs> Step three B. Is that B? Dry brush. We have a, a big brush. We're gonna dip the paint onto the brush brush it off, get it fairly dry, and lightly drag it across. We're gonna see if it gives the effect we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. We 
me think. Step four, time to assemble. We're gonna bring it all together with some glue and some screws and some brad nails, but those come in a little bit. All right, we're gonna build from bottom up. We're gonna start with this two by six, which is going to be part of the base. The feet will go on later. And then we're going to attach the sides here, but we need to figure out where these sides go on this two by six. So this is a 21 inch brace that's gonna go up here at the top. So we're gonna find center of this brace, center of the two by six, which we've already done, line them up, and now we'll know exactly where these legs should fit. Let me see. Got to put the pocket holes on the insides. All right, so now we know that it needs to be, this is exactly 21 inches, and now we know it's centered on the two by six. All right, let's glue it and screw it. All right. You want to do the middle brace now? Yes. Oh, this Ooh. is the easiest way to flip it over. <laughs> I'm going to put the signboard down here. So this is the piece that's going to say welcome. We painted it black and it's going to butt right up against the top piece. The I don't know what you call it. Yeah, the, the top. top two by eight and then this middle brace. Put the middle brace right up against it. And I guess I should have put glue on it first. Oh, yep. A little bit of glue. All right, and how are we gonna ensure this stays in its spot? Glue, and then we pin and the top on, the top. Okay. and nail from the top. Right. And it's pretty tight in here. I mean, it's definitely tight in there. you saw us hitting it with the hammer. So I think we'll be okay. Wait, let's see which side. Uh-huh. Which side do you think? This side? <laughs> or this side? And this side? For this side, one, two, one. I think it. I think this side up simply because it's got a little bow in it, and I think otherwise it's gonna look like it's bowing up. Okay. Way. A little more than an inch and a half. A little more than an inch and a half. I'm going in. We're just going in with a one and a quarter inch brad. The nail, not the guy. We happen to have it on a rolly stool, so not the best place for it. Oh, that I'm, I'm good. Well, yeah, that's pretty impressive. I'm impressed. He went ahead and put two inches on the two by fours. Yeah, right at the two by four, because I knew I had less of a chance of veering off. All right, let's put the feet on. I'm gonna put it back on the rolly stool. Um, you gonna do it that way? Yeah. Roll the stool. All right, I made the feet 11 inches one way. Hopefully it'll make a little more sturdy instead of just being square, gives a little more footing. How far you wanna hang off the edge over here? I'm hanging off like two inches. Okay. Two and a half inches, what do you think? Let me see what I got, let's compare. Compare, dare to compare. I was at two inches. I mean, I was at an inch and a half. Now I'm, oh, I'm still at an inch and a half. Two inches. Okay. 
gives it that stability. All right, two inches. Two inches. All right, let's see what we got so far. I can grab that, yeah. All right, can you guys even see the top of that thing? Probably not. Bam. Looking good so far. Step five, and now we have the accents. What makes this one different from the last one is that we want to make this centerpiece interchangeable. So previously we just had welcome stenciled on there. This time we're going to add some laser accents on here and we're going to make them interchangeable. So it's not just going to say welcome. I wanted to say something for each season. So yeah, that way we can use the same, the same hanger for all seasons. It's an all season hanger. Yeah, well, and, and the theme of the hanger changes for each season. Uh, we could change it with the flowers. So I'm gonna take this quarter inch MDF over to the Glow Forge, cut out a few designs, and uh, then we'll paint some. We're gonna find center and put our hook in now, somewhere for the flowers to hang. It's a long one. I'll leave it like that till we know how the flowers are. Okay. All right, now we're gonna glue in all of our little accent pieces using the Starbond Thick. It's the thick stuff, it's less runny. <laughs> less runny. Here, let's just lay it down so we can do the magnet then. Okay. Here, pick up the feet. We'll throw it up this way. All right, so these are interchangeable pieces. They're eight inches, right? Seven and a half? Seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter by 14. So we're going to attach these and make them interchangeable by using these magnets. So I have a super heavy duty magnet here, which I'll put in the back. And each of these interchangeable pieces will get a washer on the back of it. And that's what we'll attach here. So a little piece of metal to attach to the magnet. You want to see if the uh, pieces will work now? Seems dry. All right, let's see. What do you guys think? A new twist, less wood, it's a little lighter, and with the wider feet, hopefully it'll be a little more sturdy in the wind. And uh, I do like the interchangeable pieces. Yeah. That magnet is uh, stronger than I, I could imagine. I mean, that thing is so little and it's so strong. Oh. What kind of interchangeable pieces do you want to see? We well, have summer stuff. we need stuff. a birthday one. Oh yeah, we need a birthday one. And of course, we're gonna have to do fall. Can you get it off there? Oh, it's, it's a lot stronger <laughs> than it looks. I mean, let's put the school one up. A little back to school. All right, big thank you to all of our patrons. We love you guys. We had a great call, we had a great call this week. Uh, a lot of info give you some info, you guys give us info. Yeah, it was great. A lot of sharing.
All right, well, we are about out of time. So if you're not gonna join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And, uh, oh, and don't forget that we uh, go live on Tuesdays. Oh, it's a little heavy for my finger. But we'll do a, uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs>